A new museum has opened in Gettysburg celebrating the past 200 years of American history. News Ed's Ed Weinstock is live at the Gettysburg Museum of History with more. Hi, Ed. Hi, Kim. An amazing place. Some 4,000 artifacts, most of them from the Battle of Gettysburg. And here's just a couple of them. A Confederate bugle. And over here, we have a Confederate rifle. It weighs about 10 pounds, and it was taken off the body of a Confederate soldier on the second day of the Civil War battle. And, you know, I feel kind of privileged to hold some of these. Eric Dorr is the operator of the new Gettysburg Museum of History, and I know that many of these items come from your personal collection. What, what do they mean to you? Well, they're, they're sacred objects to me, and they make me feel proud to uh, be an American and recognize the sacrifices that the men and women who fought for our country went through. And what do you think that will mean to the many people that will come through your door? Well, hopefully they'll enjoy them. All right, thanks so much, Eric Dewar. Now, this is not just about the Battle of Gettysburg. There's whole sections of this museum dedicated to 200 years of American history, including a section in the back that is about America's political leaders, from JFK to Harry Truman. In fact, this is Harry Truman's hat. You know, you remember the guy who said, the buck stops here? Well, this was his hat. Anyway, that's the story from Gettysburg. Coming up at 5.30, we'll show you a lot more from Gettysburg's new museum. Gettysburg has a new museum, and it commemorates much more than the famous Civil War battle. News 8's Ed Weinstock introduced us to the Gettysburg Museum of History on News 8 at 5, and he's live there now with more at 5.30. Hi, Ed. And good afternoon to you, Brian. The Gettysburg Museum of History is about a lot more than the Battle of Gettysburg. There is a whole section dedicated to presidents like John F. Kennedy. This model of a rocket was given to JFK by NASA after the president announced the nation's plans to go to the moon. Well, visitors to the museum can now also see the splint worn by presidential assassin John Wilkes Booth. And a metal buckle also can be seen. It deflected a Civil War bullet. Of course, there is Harry Truman's hat here. And then photos from the day of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. More than 4,000 artifacts in all. I'm just overwhelmed by all the, the JFK uh, memorabilia in here. It's just everything from like a lock of his hair to uh, to memos to um, to even the bullets, the the casings. Uh, it's just I don't, I don't. It's amazing at how that is just concentrated in this little building here. Many of the artifacts are priceless, worth thousands of dollars. Coming up tonight at six o'clock, we'll show you an artifact that left a visitor here awestruck. I got to touch it. And you know what? We'll give you a hint. It belonged to Abraham Lincoln. That's coming up tonight at 6. Back to you. And speaking of touching things, they see they have you wearing protective gloves there, huh? That's right. Uh, they obviously uh, don't want my uh, fingerprints over these uh, priceless items. Or, or anyone else's fingerprints, for that matter, I would imagine. That's right. All right, Ed, we'll see you again tonight at News 8 at 6. Welcome back, everyone. You can get close to Civil War and presidential history at a new museum in Adams County. News 8's Ed Weinstock joins us live from the Gettysburg Museum of History, where he's been all evening. Hi, Ed. And good evening to you, Ron. Well, you know, you can't walk around this new museum without going, wow, especially if you're lucky like me and you get to touch many of the artifacts. Eric Dorr is a collector of history, and his brand new museum in Gettysburg presents his collection to the public free of charge. There's approximately 4,000 artifacts currently on display. Much of the museum is dedicated to the Battle of Gettysburg, from a musket nearly split in two by a cannonball. Fits perfectly right in here. To the Union and Confederate bullets that collided in midair. I've been told it's one in a million. The museum also contains artifacts from World War I and II. Two rooms at the museum are dedicated to John F. Kennedy. Collection just overwhelming. It's unbelievable. There is a rocking chair that belonged to JFK, a suit he wore as senator, and a box of cigars from his desk in the Oval Office. And inside the box are um, a, about 11 unsmoked cigars. When it comes to the wow factor, this wallet is probably at the top of the list. It belonged to Abraham Lincoln, 
He carried it around with him during most of his presidency, but he got a new wallet just two months before his assassination. Vincenario of New Jersey was in awe after seeing Lincoln's wallet. I'm blown away by the fact that I could actually see Abraham Lincoln's wallet. And I never thought in my lifetime that I would actually see a wallet that belonged to the 16th president of the United States of America. Well, a lot of visitors to this museum probably feel the same way. So what is the most popular item in this museum? Right now, it would be just a guess, but you know what? A lot of people have their eye on Kennedy's cigars. <laughs> That's the story from Gettysburg. <laughs> Back to you guys. Can't yeah. help but notice you have white gloves on, Ed. It must be very That's right. Stuff. I don't want to leave my fingerprints on the cigar. <laughs> no. All right. Thank you, Ed. That's really interesting. A lot of great sure stuff. Is. Welcome back to News 8. You can get close to Civil War and presidential history at a new museum in Adams County. News 8's Ed Weinstock has more on the Gettysburg Museum of History. Eric Dorr is a collector of history, and his brand new museum in Gettysburg presents his collection to the public free of charge. There's approximately 4,000 artifacts currently on display. Much of the museum is dedicated to the Battle of Gettysburg, from a musket nearly split in two by a cannonball. Fits perfectly right in here. To the Union and Confederate bullets that collided in midair. I've been told it's one in a million. The museum also contains artifacts from World War I and II. Two rooms at the museum are dedicated to John F. Kennedy. The collection is just overwhelming. It's unbelievable. There is a rocking chair that belonged to JFK, a suit he wore as senator, and a box of cigars from his desk in the Oval Office. And inside the box are um, about 11 unsmoked cigars. When it comes to the wow factor, this wallet is probably at the top of the list. It belonged to Abraham Lincoln. He carried it around with him during most of his presidency, but he got a new wallet just two months before his assassination. Vincenario of New Jersey was in awe after seeing Lincoln's wallet. I'm blown away by the fact that I could actually see Abraham Lincoln's wallet. And I never thought in my lifetime that I would actually see a wallet that belonged to the 16th president of the United States of America. Ed Weinstock, News 8. And the museum is located at 219 Baltimore Street.